Today marks the one-year anniversary of the attack on Abbey Gate in Kabul. On April 14, 2021, President Biden announced his intention to withdraw U.S. troops by September 11, 2021, the 20th anniversary of the September 11 attacks. While this is a solemn and important date to all Americans, this decision was contrary to the advice of our highest military leaders. Immediately following the announcement, the Taliban launched major attacks, defeating the Afghan army and capturing major cities. On July 2nd, Biden vacated Bagram Airfield again against the advice of our top military leadership. On August 15th, the Taliban seized the capital city of Kabul along with the Bagram Field. They released thousands of prisoners, including many senior al-Qaeda operatives and some of the Taliban's most hardened fighters. On August 26, one of these terrorists took the life of Lance Corporal Kareem Nakui. Kareem died bravely, saving others, including children, but his death was completely unnecessary, a result of political decisions by an administration determined to achieve an outcome at any cost. I have no words for how little regard this administration had for the U.S. service members who were tasked with carrying out their impossible orders. I can only express my anger and sadness that all that transpired. More than 2,000 Marines, including the 2nd Battalion 1st Marines, conducted evacuation and security operations in the final days of our mission in Afghanistan. Kareem and his fellow Marines embodied the motto, always faithful, as they attempted to save as many innocent lives as they could. Kareem served our nation with honor and distinction. He was a natural leader, and despite the chaos around him, he and the 12 stood steadfast. And in an instant, at the height of their resolve, they passed away from this life, but not from the lives, from all the many lives that they touched. They died heroes, and their courage should be our country's guiding light. And yet today, that honorable loss is the Nukui family's honorable sorrow. The last year has been a painful year of firsts, every day a day further away from Kareem and the promise of his young life. There are no words to ease the pain, but today we reaffirm a solemn promise to never forget. To honor this sacrifice as Kareem's member of Congress, I will continue to press this administration for accountability, accountability for the lies unnecessarily lost and for the decisions that led to this tragedy. And for those involved in the attack, we will never rest until they are found, wherever they may hide. So on behalf of a grateful nation, I thank Kareem's parents, all who fought in that long and horrific war, and all the families who served and sacrificed alongside them. May God bless each and every one of you. May God protect your families. And may God bless the United States of America.